first of all, tell us how you got involved with sledge hockey. Well, I had my accident back in 1983 in uh, Calgary, and uh, I moved to Ottawa in 87. So I started to play uh, summer sports, which uh, was uh, track and field, wheelchair racing, uh, wheelchair basketball, tennis, and all that kind of stuff. And then coming to fall, and then they introduced me to sledge hockey. So I sat in it, I tried it, and uh, basically it's the, uh, it's the same deal as uh, playing stand-up hockey because you got hitting, the hitting part of it. So that's why I got hooked to it. Now you retired from competitive sledge hockey back in 2010. Now you're a coach. What's that like for you? I get to pass my knowledge, my experience, and then that sort of thing. Now I just love it. It's just because uh, you get to see the, the kids like oh, take uh, Van Delaney, for example. He was he was on the, on the development team for the last two years. Now he's in Sochi competing. So so that makes you that makes you proud of uh, being able to uh, to bring these kids to that level so they can compete. So it's good. And you guys have been you've been to the Paralympics five times and you have some medals in there. Tell what that experience was like for you? Uh, going to Paralympic, it was just uh, phenomenal. It's it's incredible to be able to uh, to, to compete at that level, mm -hmm. even though that you have a disability, doesn't mean that your life is over. To me, I always saw that as a new beginning. So, so first step is we have to get into the sled. Uh, can you tell us a bit about the equipment you guys yeah. use? Yeah, well. Uh, I'll show you a little bit of uh, the sled. Obviously, you got two blades underneath, mm -hmm. and then the bucket. The bucket basically it's gonna fit you like a uh, skate. So Good example: if you put a skate on mm -hmm. and you don't shoot, don't do the uh, shoelaces, right. you can't control. So it's the same thing with a bucket with a sled. Okay, I'll try and stop when you sit in it, here. you got you got you got to become part of it. Okay. So the snugger, the better. Uh, your blades a little bit wider because when you start, you want them wider to to be stable. My blade, the, the space between the blades, I only have a thickness of a blade, if you look at it. They're very close wow. together. Wow. So basically, you just <laughs> okay. dig it in the ice, and then you push yourself. Push yourself. That's it. OK. Yeah, that's it. Just glide along. Yeah, right along. And then you, when you're going to go fast, you can go, turn. Whoa, how do you stop? Stopping, you can do this. Not quite. <laughs> so go. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so hard. <laughs> One way to push yourself back up, get you down here. Yeah. Got your elbow. There you go. Use your right hand, push. Yeah. Use your pick at the same time, push yourself. Oh, wow. There you go, almost there. Oh. That's it, that's good. That's very good. And how do you guys pass? Like you just pass like regular hockey? Yeah, a pass, it's just, you could do a backhand pass. Oh. You could do a forehand pass. Hey, I'm not the best hockey player, yeah, let alone. Because a lot of time, we, when you come, you can you just stick handle. You could pass yourself under the, the sled. Oh. <laughs> That's called a bad pass I did. Yeah! There you go. Oh, woo, woo, woo. Right, I'm kind of getting the hang of it. Well, thank you so no, you much can... for inviting us out here today. I want to see you do some moves.